Okay, so the Yankees just made a trade. They have traded Lucas Litke to the Braves for two prospects. Infielder Caleb Durbin and pitcher Indigo Diaz. Probably messing up both names there because I am horrible at saying names. Um, but they are on or were on the Braves. Now they're in the Yankees farm. A lot some people might be a little confused because Lucas Lickey got DFA'd a couple of days ago to make room for Tommy Canely on the 40-man roster. But after someone is DFA'd, then there's still a period of time before they go on waivers or hit the free agent market where they are able to be traded. So that's what happened here. It's in that period of time. So they've traded Lucas Lickey to the Braves. Lickey is a weird player in a lot of ways. He's had a sub-3 ERA in back-to-back seasons. But something just feels off about his pitching. Like, he had a 2.67 ERA last season. That's great. But he's going to be 36 next year. The velo isn't very good. And it's gotten worse from last year. And he had a 3.57x ERA. So the more advanced metrics are not as big of a fan of him. You know, he's someone who, in my mind, has gotten a little bit lucky in some cases. He hasn't had to verse the hardest parts of the order at all times. So I don't think that we're trading away someone who's going to have another sub-3 ERA. I, I don't think those days are going to be repeated, repeated for him. You know, best of luck to him. I hope he does great. But I don't think he's going to be great. So I think he's probably going to be a 3.5-ish ERA player next season as a left-handed reliever that's pretty good there so it was a kind of a weird um decision by the Yankees to DFA him weird one there not my not what I would have done but hey it's what the Yankees did here but they did get two players in this trade with the Braves they got Indigo Diaz um who is a prospect on the Braves I believe he's ranked 23rd on MLB Pipeline for the Braves' top prospects. So he's actually a decently decent prospect here. He's a right-handed pitcher. He is 6'5", 23 years old. And last season in AA, he pitched to a 3.08 ERA in 49 and two-third innings. He struck out 11.4 batters per nine, walked 5.6 though. So he was given, he was striking out a ton of players, walking a ton. He had a 4.27 FIP. So yes, the ERA was very low, but at the same time, the walk rates were really high. He profiles as a reliever and he kind of started to transition into fully a relieving role this season in the minors. So they have a reliever here. He throws, he's a fastball slider guy. Fastball sits about 95 and Maybe he could be something. You never really know with these types of prospects where there isn't a ton written about them. The stats say he can get a lot of strikeouts, but he needs to work on his control. If he can lower the walks per nine, could he be a viable reliever in the next couple of years? Maybe. We'll have to see. <clears throat> and then the next player is Caleb Durbin. He is a infielder. He bats righty. Um, there's not much information on him. He's 22 years old. Last season with um, <clears throat> the Braves A ball and high A affiliate, he hit 241 with a 352 on base percentage, 372 slugging for an OPS of 724 in 105 games. There is not much written about him. He's not ranked on MLB Pipeline or anything, so it's kind of hard to tell what he's going to be. Um, but that those are the two players that the Yankees got for Lucas Lickie. Tell me what you think of this move in the comments below.